downpipe wrapping is a thing that people do. Uh, <laughs> it's a thing you shouldn't do. Or all, all, all manifolds. All manifolds. All manifolds. This is a heat wrap downpipe that we've just removed from the Subaru. This was the reason why our last drift day came to an end. Prematurely. I'm going to show you the... Th this is the centre section and the decap. Sorry, the cat. Cat definitely has a cat. Cat pipe on the exhaust. Um, have a look there, if you can, with your eyeballs. That serrated that edge. Rusty AF corroded steel was wrapped in heat pipe. Uh, heat pipe? Heat wrap? Heat wrap. This is what's left of the f down pipe. Uh, and we're going to have a look at how bad it is on the rest of it. So it, it, we should point out, first of all, Dave, this has already been welded by your good self. Uh, yeah, this, this bit has already absolutely sheared completely off. So that was a previous failure. Because this used to be wrapped right up around there. Yeah, so it was wrapped top to bottom. Top to bottom. And you can actually see on it where there was like a sleeve or something. That's, yeah, and it's rusted right through. So um, let's uh, have a look see at what the rest of the damage is. And then perhaps we should give some internet advice to people as to whether or not they should wrap their uh, well, headers. it depends. Well, what's if, the theory? Well, the theory is you keep the gases hotter, they exit the exhaust faster. Faster flow and lower under bay uh, engine, you know, engine bay temperatures. Oh, yeah. If you get the, the temperatures out rather than yes. into the engine bay. Okay, and, well, those are noble and faster gas flows. Oh, yes, hotter gas, hotter flows gas flows faster. faster. Right, yes, yes, that's what I meant. That is a thing. So, in terms of wrapping, it's what is it? Fi some sort of fiberglass? It's, gla and it's just glass fiber, yeah. Glass fiber some with some little copper maybe, wires or something. Maybe rock wool or something in there. Da, 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 da. Also wear gloves because it's fucking it's glass and you get glass splinters. Ask me how I know. <laughs> David, how do you know you get glass splinters? Because <laughs> I get glass splinters from doing my exhaust when I wrapped oh, you, it. Oh yeah, because <laughs> you wrapped yours. But why did I wrap mine? You well, may ask. You, because you it's it. fucked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, I've already welded it four times. So the thing is, if you are worth oh millions of dollars God. and you don't care, then you can just wrap it and then you can throw it away at the end of every race season. But if you're not made of money. What's wrong? <laughs> What's. Do, do we have an issue? <laughs> oh. Let me just uh, have a look at the pile. That's on the floor. Look at that, boys and girls. Oh, God. That's fractured in every direction you can get. Whoa. That's. <laughs> look how weak it is, even like halfway down the pipe. And... Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> A bit thin in places, especially there. <laughs> David, would you like to have a guess how many miles that has done? Oh, I don't know. 200,000? 15,000 miles. Yes. So, 15,000 miles since that wrap. So you get, fifth, you get less than, we'll say, 10,000 miles out, out of that. And that is a. Uh, um, oh, I can't remember which one it is, but I've got a receipt in the house, so I shall put on the screen Whoever what type makes of this downpipe, downpipe this yes. is. Was. But it's a, a two-section downpipe, and I know that the... the uh, that's, this, uh, that's a Scorpion. The bit the with the end. yellow plug in there is definitely not a decap pipe made by Scorpion. <laughs> the remainders of the stainless exhaust... That is a very, it's a very narrow catalytic converter. Um, normally they're thicker, but that one's very narrow. I've just bought an R crack. I know. It's cracked up there as well. Um, so you were making noises about seeing if this was salvageable. I've decided it's not. You've decided no. it's not. Um, David, if we were a sandblast, this would probably see a lot, a lot more stress and fractures in it. Go fetch a hammer. Do you want to see a brittle? Answer? I want to see what will happen if you dunt that Wait, with a hammer. I want to see if it's actually snappy brittle. I mean, it is thick metal. Oh, well don't ruin your good snips. No, that's alright. They're not. But I mean, it's still, it's still strong, but. It's, it's shattered, it's sheared. So if that wasn't going to shear off it's going to shear off there. It's going to shear off That's here. That's worse. After it had already sheared off here. Yeah. Like if you were actually polish this, I might as would find more, that is, more cracks. That is f uh, Sorry, dog. Oh, it didn't get any better. Okay. 
I think any worse, but Right, that that was that was some serious internet science there. there it so. was. So I, what did we <laughs> learn? Gravity. <laughs> we, we learned that gravity is still turned on. Maybe the maybe, <laughs> maybe the flange is salvageable, and then we can use it to make a bonnet vent. Yes, that's straight yeah. out the. We'll out just the chop, we'll just chop that in a key and go, and just take it right we'll down just there. Have that. Yes. And that, that gives us a flange. That's a good idea, actually. Because flanges are expensive. Look, like seventy quid for a new flange. Yeah, we'll just keep. I that. know this because I looked. We'll horse right. the rest of this. So that monstrosity. That used to join exactly there. Used to. Kinda. Yeah, it's completely. Yeah, it. It was like tucked in a slight. Bit. So it's sheared at three different points. And the final one was the end of the drift day. It was wrapped right up to the... Oh, look, how, look how it rusty. Oh, stainless yeah. steel doesn't rust. Uh, uh, no, it rusts, see, boys. See, it, figure, figure one, see, stainless steel downpipe. It rusts. Give it enough heat and time, it rusts. Yeah. Well, I've got good news for you, David. The I don't replacement... Have to, I don't have to fix it. You don't have to fix that. And the replacement is a, a single-piece jack speed downpipe. It's right. a single piece right now, but... Well, we'll have to cut that bit off. Yeah, we do have to cut bits off. Yes, so that's that's what happens if you if you heat wrap your... Uh, heat, heat, if you heat wrap your shit. Heat wrap, yeah. Heat wrap anything, you just... It just dies faster, that's it. It does work, but it does. It dies faster. Oh yeah, because it's science. Ceramic coating is what you want instead. I imagine that's mega bucks. Uh, well... Or you just replace your, your downpipe every yeah. 15,000 miles. Is it mega bucks if you're replacing your headers and your downpipe every 15,000 well, miles? Well, if your car's in race conditions, then I don't suppose it really matters. But this is a 70,000 mile Subaru WRX that is being made to drift because it's what we have. Oh, so, Scottish weather. cue Scottish weather, the rain will now ruin the audio, so we're going to say goodbye. Thank you for <laughs> watching. Don't wrap your exhaust pipes unless you want to replace them every 10 to 15,000 miles. Thanks for watching, bye!